Say court to the recent court clash that has surfaced around several areas in the state. The Russian masterminds has called on the Russian state government to double its efforts on security and bring to book those jeopardizing the peace of the community. This call was made by the executive director of the civil society organization, Professor Wasu Edo Kumali, at the September edition of the State of the State Address in Oshibu on Wednesday. We recall rather regrettably that some months back, we want about the worsening insecurity in our dear state. It appears that our worst fears are being confirmed with the increasing cases of killings, particularly in towns like Elisha. While the cases reported so far have been linked to courtesy, we believe that the state government also has a lot of roles to play in stopping this worsening trend. We want to state unequivocally that the state can only grow in a secure atmosphere where citizens can go about they are lawful businesses without fears of attack, intimidation, or death. We call on the state government to double its efforts in securing the state. The state government must also posture itself in such a way that it is not seen to be endorsing thuggery through the relationship of some key elements of government with known antisocial elements. Also addressing the need to cushion the effect of subsidy removal on the residents, Edo Kuali implored the state government to be open with the distribution of the palliatives sent to the states by the federal government. We alleged secrecy in the handling of the palliatives. As many organizations have clamored, we also join our voice to the request for Austrian government palliatives to cushion the effect of subsidy removal on common citizens who face daily hardship because of rising costs of goods and services. While the federal government has made certain palliative provisions, the state government has remained ominously silent on what it will be given to the state people as palliatives, even when it has confirmed the receipt of two billion naira from federal government coffers. Recall that in our last addresses, we had spread out areas where we think the state government should do the intervention. We request that the state government immediately makes known its intention as concerning palliatives as also people are longing to support for support that most citizens of other states have enjoyed, but no states are an example. We must also use this opportunity to condemn the secrecy that shouldered the disposal of the palliative that were received from the federal government. For transparency's sake, we encourage the associated governments to be more open and transparent with such decision processes in future. Openness secures public confidence and the government cannot do without it. On infrastructure, the organization advised the state government not to embark on the plan to construct flyovers at Old Garage and Lameko roundabouts in Oshobu. We are counseling against the construction of flyover at Okefia and Old Garage areas. Our counsel is premised on the state of our finances, vis a the level of urgency of some infrastructure at the proposed location. A simple dualization of Lameko, Okefia, Old Garage stretch of roads and signalization of that stretch will solve whatever traffic bottlenecks that may currently exist there. More specifically, traffic lights at Lameko, Okefia, and O Garage on a dualized road with east traffic congestion currently being experienced on the road. We advise that government redirects the funds it will spend on constructing flyovers to widely major roads in towns whose major roads are currently too narrow for the kind of traffic that goes to them. Major towns like Ikiru, Iwo, Ilesha, Ejigo, and Ilarangun are in that needs of wider major roads to reduce the risk of to lives occasioned by the dense traffic that passes through those towns. While concluding his address, he advised the Commissioner for Information, Kolak Mohalimin, to use more decorous words when releasing official statements in the future. This was a result of the Commissioner calling a group of pensioners on scrupulous elements. Our attention was recently drawn to a press statement issued by the Commissioner for Information in the State, by Mr. Kolak Mohalimin. In the statement, he referred to the group of contributing pensioners who tried to state a protest as unscrupulous elements unscrupulous elements, for God's sake. While we consider, while we understand the pressure of his office, we advise him to use more decorous words in such official releases in future. The persons who threaten to stage a protest are bona fide retirees from also state civil and teaching service and must thus be accorded respect, no matter the level of disagreement on the table. 
This is of person should not be politicized to the point where we call senior citizens unprintable names and denigrate them in that manner. We also advise the government to immediately find a middle ground with prisoners in the state instead of engaging in needless media brickbats that will make an already bad situation worse. Dialogue, any day, is superior to arguments that provide no solution. In conclusion, we hope very sincerely that our interventions will be taken constructive, uh, will be taken as constructive advice to government. We also do hope that government will speedily take actions on implementing them to make life easier for our people. Reacting to the issues by the organization, the Commissioner for Information, Kolakbo Alemi, clarified that the state has not spent the two billion naira received. He also talked about the security challenges. Reacted, I, I don't want to repeat myself. Uh, by the time I'm, uh, just go and read the, 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 the press conference. We have stated that uh, the governor, as, as of today, is holding regular meeting with the security uh, operatives and is giving them the right support. And that is his own duty. You understand it? We don't expect the governor himself to go to the booth or to go to, uh, to the support of the state. It is to provide the energy environment and to provide logistics, which the governor is doing. So we can only order a security operative to, to both cool up. This is the 27th edition of the Ashish State Masterminds in checking the activities of the state government in order to advise, counsel, and be the voice of the people in matters concerning the state. From Oshibu, Modipo Lashomi, Silent Stereo.